Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Charlotte Rose and I'm an artist, illustrator and small business owner based in the UK. And this video is part of my zine tour series where I'm taking you through all the zines I've ever made. Today's video is about a zine called Tiptoes, which is a collection of illustrations taken from the sketchbooks I used to keep while I was in college. Uh, so all these illustrations have been digitally edited and compiled into a little zine. So when I was in college I used to keep these tiny little sketchbooks, I used to use these like on the train and at home just in my spare time. They weren't my college sketchbooks, they were just the sketchbooks that I kept alongside being in college. So I struggle with anxiety and so a lot of the drawings in here, some of them are quite dark, some of them are quite rude. <clears throat> these sketchbooks are literally just a way of me getting my thoughts down onto paper and out of my head. There are quite a lot of silly and rude collages in these books. Um, I really like chopping up magazines and just making rude little collages out of them. And then there's also some quite dark little doodles which were just what I was thinking about at the time. So the name Tiptoes comes from this idea of wanting to be quiet and undetected um, and just wanting to get through each day without anything going wrong or whatever. <clears throat> the background of this scene is a screen print texture that I made and scanned in and changed the colourways. So it's also used in the end pages and it's also used as a background for some of the pages in the zine. So a lot of the doodles in the scene I would say are up for interpretation but I will explain the ones that I can. So this is just a little character feeling restricted and not knowing how to get out of a situation. This figure is just sort of uh, overwhelmed but also not got a single thought in his head at the same time. I've also got this childlike drawing which is sort of you know wanting to relive childhood. This is this haunted figure that's kind of like haunted by all these little demon figures behind him. Feels like he's being followed. This smoking figure was based on Helena Bonham Carter's character in Fight Club because I just watched it and I just really liked that character. These next two pages are kind of about being overwhelmed. Um, so these two little ghosty figures are staring at this black hole not really knowing what to do with it. And this character's kind of cramping up a bit. Just no more, no more please. So that's that's what that one's about. And he's got a little black hole thing in his mouth. So this ancient drawing is um, kind of just floating, just sort of in that state of paralysis where you're so overwhelmed have so much to do that you can't do any of it. The next page is about just feeling out of place, just generally not fitting in. Uh, this is sort of uh, like an adult figure trying to be comforting and tell you that everything's going to be fine. So one of these ghosts is saying, do we know each other? Because I'd just been let down by someone and it was like I didn't know them anymore. This eyeball figure is kind of up for interpretation a bit. Some of these drawings are inspired by LSD hallucinations that I read about online when I was doing research for one of my college projects. This one's reaching for something that it wants to grab and it just says disappoint in the top there. I really love the gritty texture in this one. It's like one of my favorite pages. This is a double spread um, that I took a quote from a book called Morpheus, which is a really old book about the science of sleep, which is a, a great book. I think I've talked about it in one of my other videos. So sleep is the restoration of vitality, death the extinguishing of vitality. So it's kind of paraphrased. It's not exactly word for word what it says, but I really liked these illustrations. I was really happy with them. And I think this may be my favourite double spread in any zine that I've ever done because I just I love the quote, I love the book that it's from and yeah it's, it's great. I used a lot of French words in this in these drawings I think it's just because I like the idea of people looking at the sketchbook and not immediately 
knowing what I was thinking. It's also why the drawings are a bit cryptic. So that last drawing was about being kind of poked and prodded and feeling under attack all the time. This one is about being restrained and pulled back and not quite being able to get to where you want to be. Uh, the next one is a lyric from a Crystal Castle song uh, called Celestica, uh, which is an amazing song. And to the lyric, just I just really like the lyrics, so I drew it. Just this little figure with blind faith kind of thing. That was the idea behind that one. This one's kind of um, up for interpretation. I don't really know what's going through my head when I made this, but I kind of like it. I like all these really stupid illustrations that don't really have any meaning. The next one uh, is like an older figure lifting a child's chin and saying that's how people walk into trees. So I used to look down a lot when I walked. I probably still do a bit, but it used to get pointed out quite a lot. And I think it was like a shy thing, but I was always being told to lift my head. Uh, the next page is like a silly illustration of like a sex dream. I used it in one of my college projects about dreams. This one's a bit darker. It's about the idea of having these sort of like demons and dark thoughts and hot thoughts, as I believe they're known as. So it says they've come to stay again. So it's like going through this cycle of feeling better and then feeling worse again. Again, this next one's up for interpretation, but it says, why are we always floating? And it, I guess it's kind of this idea of just floating through life and getting by rather than you know anything more than that this next one again up for interpretation I guess the next couple of pages probably this I don't know this one's really weird I was just playing around with ink and made all these weird shapes so that's what that one is uh, this character I drew with like three mouths and it was this idea of having loads of different thoughts going on at the same time so yeah, that's that's the zine. I hope you liked it. It was a bit of a weird one, but yeah, I've got a couple more like that. So we'll go through those at some point. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.